The wife is out on a date with one of her girlfriends. While she's gone, we're gonna soup up her boomerang. What's going on, YouTubers? Big Philly, Poor Boys RC. Thanks again for tuning in. Finger guns. Feeling good today, guys. It's been a heck of a day. Glad to be making this video right now. Gonna tell you that. So, uh, without further ado, you saw the video. Is this is this brushless motor any good? It's supposed to be Ghoul RC. It doesn't even say Ghoul RC. Some of you guys have told me you ordered the same thing. It came branded as Ghoul RC. Mine's got a dent in the can. Is it any good? Let's find out. We're gonna put it in the in the wife's nice guy. Eh? We're gonna put it in the wife's uh, boomerang. And uh, yeah, it's looking nice and clean. That's a good start. As I'm getting this uh, ESC out of here, guys, tell me, do you guys? Uh, how many of you guys go go um, go are seeing with the wife? Kind of mixed stories, you know, some guys do, some guys don't, some guys' wives love it, some hate it. I guess I'm I'm pretty fortunate in that mine really enjoys it. Let me know in the comments below. They say the couples that RC together stay together forever. <laughs> Went ahead and picked up this Robinson Racing Pinion because one interesting fact, the stock 540 silver can has a three millimeter shaft and the ghoul rc motor has a much girthier five millimeter shaft poor boys rc shaft talk it's what it's all about so in order to work with the larger shaft of the ghoul rc motor we had to get a pinion gear that would fit and from what i could tell this guy was the ticket and hopefully it all fits in the setup because this thing was not designed for brushless motors so let's find out so just a quick side-by-side -side comparison guys of these two motors check out the differences so look at the difference here, guys. We've got, again, three millimeter shaft, five millimeter output shaft, and 540 mil can. This looks more like a 550 millimeter can. So significantly larger motor going into this thing. More power. Don't you love how manuals always say installation is the opposite of removal? That's it, guys. Pretty simple to install. Unfortunately, I can't really tell if the gear is meshing correctly just due to the nature of the fact that this is all kind of closed off. I went with the same size pinion, so if you're going to do this mod, make sure that you're using the same size pinion as what you had in there before, because if you don't, there are some shims inside this gearbox to allow for various pinion sizes. So make sure you're using the same size pinion. I butted mine up together. I matched them, mirror matched them up together. They match perfectly, so I think we're in good hands. So. Um, I'm going to get, let's get this tire put on. She's got her tires on backwards on this thing. I had to fix all her shocks. How many of you guys do that? How many of you guys are wrenching on your wife's cars? Cause they don't know what they're doing. I'm going to get myself in trouble here. Just kidding. They know what they're doing and we love them. So we do nice things for them, right? Right. All right. Everything feels good. ESC. As far as this ESC goes, guys, I don't know what to tell you. Many of you guys have commented, and thank you so much for doing it, that it's not waterproof. I believe you. This does not look waterproof. There's no cover on this on-off switch. Come on now. There we go. Oh, says waterproof ESC. I don't know. We'll see about that. That was pretty easy. Let's talk about hooking up that motor to the ESC. Red to red. Blue to blue. Yeller to yeller. Was it really that simple? It took me 10 minutes. Let's put a battery in this thing and see if it works. All right, guys, everything's hooked up. Battery's installed. Let's see if this thing works. Where I come from, we call this an epic fail. So pretty miffed that this thing isn't working. All the orange branding on this got me thinking, maybe this is just a rebranded Toro from back in the day. Toro, which I believe became Leopard, which then became Ghoul RC. 
So I thought, let's see if we can use my old Toro program card. Plug her in just like so. Turn it on. And look at that. No more wild beeping. So let's see what we got going on here. So auto lipo. Yeah, sounds good to me. And the Toro program card is doing nothing. Wow, what a yep. And now I've got it hooked up to my Hobbywing program card and it doesn't work on that either. So I am pretty choked. What a piece of junk. Well, there you have it guys. One of my last thumbnails said, is this setup any good? I've heard some good things. You guys gave me some good feedback. Tell me if I'm doing something wrong. I don't think I am. I've been doing this for a lot of years and you plug it in and it should work. Even the instructions say plug it in and it should have a beep beep tone. So something is obviously going on with this. I need to dig a little bit deeper. So far, I got some bad vibes off this thing. Think I bought a lemon. As always, everybody, thanks so much for tuning in. Be hesitant before buying the setup. I will put a link in the description below. Seems like some guys were getting Ghoul RC branded products that work great. Some guys were getting waterproof. Some guys are getting not waterproof. And I got a complete lemon. So I just wasted 50 bucks on a lemon ESC. I'll test out the motor, see if it works on another ESC. Let me make mistakes so you don't have to. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Be excellent to each other.